Okay, well, this is our lyophilizing machine, and these are miles of venom that are being freeze dried on there. And the way this works is you, the venom is frozen when you put it on, and inside here, in this, is dry ice. And then there's a space here, and the whole thing is hooked up to a vacuum pump. So it basically creates a vacuum in this space and it sucks the uh, liquid out of the venom and it's collected in here. It's frozen because of the dry ice is in there so it doesn't go into the vacuum pump. And then the venom becomes like the dry powder. And it's much more stable that way and can be subject to a wider range of temperatures without degrading any. So that's what we do with all of our venom. Well, this is a centrifuge, and basically it's used to uh, remove any bacteria or foreign debris or anything that you don't want in the venom that's a little bit okay. Anything that's heavier than the actual venom itself will just uh, be pulled to the bottom and then you can clean it up. This is a filter that we use. Uh, sometimes customers want venom to be completely clean and we can use this to filter small quantities of venom. And basically this is a syringe filter. It's pretty simple. You just pull the venom up into a syringe uh, that has a lure lock on it and then the filter locks onto the syringe and then you just uh, manually depress the plunger and it forces the venom out through the filter. It's actually really time consuming and you can only do a small quantity of venom this way. Uh, this is a hood and it was actually donated by one of our customers. And basically we can process venom in here when it's on and it will um, pull everything back into, uh, into the filter system in there so that way we don't have to worry about inhaling um, venom particles that may become aerosolized. This up here is a rebreather that we also use uh, when we're weighing or working with the venom. And it just reduces the risk of exposure for us. It is possible to develop an allergy to venom when you're exposed to it uh, over and over again. And so it just makes it safer. Here's an example of some freeze-dried or lyophilized venom in a sterile container that's ready to go. This is Eastern Diamond Dye Venom. This is just over 40 grams of venom. This is our anti-venom refrigerator. And this is where we keep anti-venom for all of the animals that we can. As long as there's an antivenom made for it, then we have that here on stock for any animal that we have. 